This week, Congress heard from the CEO of TikTok about security concerns related to the popular app. With more on that, let's turn to CBS News Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan in Washington. And Margaret, you have Senator Mark Warner of the Senate Intelligence Committee on this weekend. What do you expect to hear from him specifically on this TikTok issue? Well, we want to talk to Senator Warner about the bill he's put forward. It has bipartisan support. It's been endorsed by the White House. So this may be the way that the administration ends up dealing with TikTok. This bill would uh, give the Commerce Secretary the power to review um, situations involving technology companies and foreign ownership. Now, that would give them the power to potentially ban the app, or there are other avenues out there. So it still remains murky what the solution is here, but the Biden administration seems to be getting uh, cornered into making a decision perhaps soon as to how to deal with this app, which is on the phones of 100 million Americans, according to TikTok. Uh, now, the government in Beijing says it's opposed to a forced sale uh, or to a ban. So now we are in this geopolitical standoff. We want to talk to uh, NSC spokesperson John Kirby as well about how the White House is planning to deal with it. Now, you're also speaking to the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. What can we expect there? Uh, yes, you're right. Neil Kashkari is one of my guests on Sunday. And in addition to that current role, he has the past experience from 2008 of having been at the Treasury Department and put together that rescue package known as TARP. Do you remember that from 2008? Uh, so he has some unique experience to tell us whether the risk that is in the banking system right now is um, perhaps spreading or whether this is contained and what it all means for the Federal Reserve's plans to raise interest rates to fight the inflation that Americans are feeling right now. Does that job get harder? Do the prospects of recession increase? We'll talk about all of it Sunday.